And that is essentially the, the theoretical description or the model of a modern relativistic black hole. Schwarzschild described or discovered the solutions to Einstein's equations that describes what happens to space-time outside such a thing uh, way back, actually 1916, just after the theory was published. What Schwarzschild's solution also describes though, although he didn't think in these terms at the time, was what that space looks like if you completely remove the star but leave its imprint in the, in the fabric of the universe behind. That is essentially the, the theoretical description or the model of a modern relativistic black hole. While Schwarzschild's solution, and we're, by solution I mean we're to picture a distortion in space and time, a distortion in the fabric of the universe. While Schwarzschild's solution does indeed describe the simplest possible black hole that we can model in the universe, people didn't really think in those terms at all until later. You see in the 1930s, Einstein and a colleague of his, Rosen, for example, exploring that space-time and building models of what that space-time might look like. 